get this video going. What is he barking at? What is he barking at? We have some guys working at the neighbor's house. But he's not barking towards them. He's barking. Now, I know we have little fox around, but I don't think that they would have traveled this far over. So let's see. Uh, or is he actually... Toby, Toby. Okay, maybe he was barking at them and he's just not good with direction. Because it would have seemed like there was something right there. So obviously I wasted turning this video on to see that he's just barking at the workers, the guys working next door. Toby! This is the this is this is the dog walk chronicles. Toby! This is what you get. Stop. Today is the feast of Saint Cesar de Bus, a French saint, saint born 1544, died 1607, I think, in Easter Sunday, um, as opposed to uh, Easter Wednesday, you know, when it happens that Easter falls on a Wednesday. It's a joke, that's sarcasm. We all know Easter is always on a Sunday. Uh, I'd ask that we pray for the Americas. Uh, between our wokeism, our trying to, people embracing the, the stupidity that socialism is a good idea, uh, it, disenfranchising themselves from God and saying that science or just the, the, their, in their mind, no God exists is, is just bad mojo. Um, you know, since Jesus came, we've been following Jesus and been guided by the church for 2,000 years. Some 500 years ago, there was a split by people who couldn't follow the rules. And granted, there were mistakes made by the church, of course, because, hey, the church is run by man. But it's also, it's guided by the Holy Spirit. And if the people don't follow the Holy Spirit, then it's going to go off the rails. And that's what happens when things go wrong in the church. So uh, let's pray for the Americas. Let's ask the saints to pray for us. Saint, uh, Saint Cesar was, uh, I believe he followed Saint Charles Borromeo. He was praised by Saint Francis de Sales as an as exemplar uh, teacher of the catechism. So that's, that's, yeah, we all know, have heard of St. Okay, I think this is done. We're done. We've all heard of St. Francis de Sales. So if he, yeah. Uh, St. Cesar um, was uh, born into a pious family. He was one of the middle children, became a soldier, was headed to a battle, became ill. I think at some point he became a canon, which was in some instances a position in the church that got you... Uh, you know, esteem and, and money. And so that's how he took it for the esteem and the money. At some point he went to Paris, uh, studied or studied poetry and, um, I keep forgetting the other thing. He lived a wild life, studied poetry and painted. And then he was walking past the church, saw a statue of the or star, a statue, I believe, of the Virgin Mary with a light on it, on it, and was struck by the remembrance that a woman, I think her name was Antoinette Farinel, uh, said she would pray for his conversion, and it it happened there. So, um, Saint Cesar, pray for us.